Hello guys, this is Ninja God Ivan, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to modify Soldier. This guy, okay? So if you, so one, well, one of the YouTubers commented to me, commented to me that they wanna know how to change the Soldier. How they wanna know how to modify it, okay? So I which I already did. So if I play it, it's gonna work, okay? All right. So I'm gonna go start this from scratch, okay? Since you since I show you guys the demonstration of this, okay? All right, so let's start from scratch. All right, so let's add soldier, okay? So let's change. Let's say you want to change this up, okay? Say you want to change it to superhero. Okay, so you're gonna get the superhero guy here, right? All right. So let's. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this this guy's body from Robloxian 2.0 to superhero. Okay, and this is simple. There's, like I said, guys, we don't need to add scripts. Okay, there's there's no need for us to add scripts. All we're doing is modifying his character by changing his appearance okay so we're gonna go superhero let's let's change everything so go to superhero left arm to superhero torso okay or any or any uh body type left arm to torso whatever okay you're gonna copy their mesh ids okay and you're gonna go and paste it to Okay, since okay, since I'm gonna paste torso, the bypass we torso. So copy the mesh ID and paste it here. So notice the change. And you're gonna do the same thing, alright? Same to left arm, right arm, left leg and right leg. Okay. Yeah, it's just really slow. Okay, I'm gonna paste this. And let's see. And we're, oh yeah, left leg. All right, so we're we're done changing his uh, body. Okay, so it went from Roblox in two point to superhero. Okay, now we can just get rid of this one. All right. Well, now let's say that we want to change his clothes. Okay. But the thing is, is that this soldier does not have pants and sh sh shirt options. Okay. So what we're gonna do is go to Okay, go to models, okay, and go to click on any type in any model, okay. Type on any um let's say I'm gonna put villager here, okay. Okay, so I don't notice that he only has shirt, okay. But I wanna look for shirt and pants, but this is fine, okay. At least he has shirt. I'm gonna go on oh. I'm gonna lock this so I can click on him. Okay, yeah, he only has shirt. Oh, whoops. No, oh no, what are we doing? Okay. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go and paste it, okay? Oh wait, no, hold on. No, copy shirt, okay. The reason, yeah, the reason why we need to copy shirt is so that you guys can change his shirt. Okay. You're going to paste onto soldier. And I'm going to. This is fun to do with the pants. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Copy. Oh, wait, no. Copy pants, not copy the pants template. Okay. And then paste. Okay, so now he has pants now. Okay, don't mind the hair. All right. So I'm going to go change his body colors, okay? You guys can do that if you want. I'm going to change it to pastel brown. Okay. Wait, have I done torso? Oh, wait. Never mind. All right. So what should, what should I do next? Oh, change the face. All right. I'm going to go do that. Oh, man, I was I was about to get to this where we have to change the shirt, okay. So I'm going to get to that later. Let's go change his face. Uh, faces. Let's say I want to... <laughs> let's say I want to do this one. Just for fun. Troublemaker. Which costs 24,000 more bucks. Which is... So expensive. I mean, it, does, it doesn't... Deserve to be 24,000 Robux. It should be maybe one. All right. So just go to face, copy the, remember, copy its ID, and you're going to go and paste it to here. So now it looks, now it's the guy with the face from this website, Roblox.com. Okay. I'm gonna change this one because I don't want the hat here. Okay, now let's say you wanna let's say you wanna add this guy's hair, okay? Let's go give him something. Oh uh, no, nah, it has to be like a top. Uh, let's see. What about this one? Yeah, this will work. Okay. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna drag this here. Oh wow, I don't need to move anything. It just did it for me. Well, in most cases you have to yeah, okay, in most cases you you have to move the hair, okay. And if you guys don't know how to move your hair and you and you guys want to know how to do it, move move the hats or something, please comment below, okay? Because because sometimes when you when you place when you place a hat inside a soldier, it will not go directly to this one, okay. To the soldier. Instead, it will just go, it will just stay on the floor, and then you gotta like move it to here, to the person's head, okay. All right. So now let's go change the shirt. All right. We're we're gonna do the same thing. This is this this concept is similar to changing the face, right? But except that we're dealing with shirts. And pants, okay. Okay, well let's let's do this for fun. But I'm just I just wanna use this one, use this shirt, I'm gonna paste this, okay. So make sure you copy the ID, paste it here, and yeah, you'll get something like this. Okay, and the pants too. Even though that this pants is not relevant to the outfit, then whatever. Okay. Who gives who gives a damn? Alright, so I'm gonna put pants. Um make sure to copy that the ID and paste it here. Okay, there you go. Alright, so I guess we're done. I'm gonna i I'm gonna put in a soldier. I mean no, I'm gonna put in a zombie. Okay, so I'm gonna tweet this. I'm gonna put zombie, join zombie, which is popular. I'm gonna put this here. Okay, and then we're gonna go test it. It's still gonna work. See, it's just that we're changing its appearance. Yeah, this will work. See? There you go. Now, now you guys saw it, okay? All right, guys. So hopefully this tutorial helps you out. Hopefully you guys can apply this to making games. Hopefully you guys can learn something from this. Okay. So please comment and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions or you need my assistance, 
Just comment, okay? See you guys soon.